Hey there YouTube, I'm just going to be showing off a little video game that I made in Visual Basic. Uh, this is basically how it looks. It basically has a uh, road and the water, and if you step on the road, nothing happens. And if you step on the water, you basically drown. And this is basically like the Frogger game. So, you're the frog. I don't get why frogs die when they're in water anyway. So, as I was saying, you get hit by the car, you die, and yeah. There are tons of glitches, like you see here. There, One log is uh, overlapping the other one, but I'm getting that fixed. And as you can see that the, all these shapes are cut out. This is because uh, I actually made them uh, transparent. And let me show you. So you see that the each image has uh, magenta in it. That's the default color for uh, game transparency, as you see. So it basically finds this color and removes it. And we have the um, river and the road. And you see here that to the player is actually uh, five different images in one image, so that uh, it will th it wouldn't take uh, so much RAM, but it still takes about uh, 60 megabytes of RAM just to run this simple program. Basically, uh, my program cuts this uh, picture into 16 different uh, rectangles, and it'll select the rectangle and cut out the rest of the picture, make it transparent, and uh, make it look like it. And depending on which uh, one I select, it's gonna show which part of the image, so that it'll be actually like a sprite map. All these images I've made myself, so. They suck. And let me show you the game. Now you might have noticed that uh, there was no menu um, images, and so these ones are fully generated by uh, itself. And I'm planning to have a texture changer, so you could just change the texture by selecting a folder, but it doesn't work. And let's try to play this game. As you see, you you are um, the frog and you get to run around and try to get into the other side of the map as you see if you stand on the log the log will actually move you and this w works for each log and if you fall in the, the water as I just did you will die and yeah this is basically it it's uh, basically to position the logs is just a ram randomizer and it uh, basically randomizes uh, four po different positions but for some reason it gets screwed up and this it happens and uh, if you look at the bottom right corner you'll uh, actually see that uh, I have live uh, system with uh, the frogs so you can actually see how many frogs and at the top left you see you just saw an indicator saying uh, uh, how long before the game starts and yeah and right here you can see it's level one and now you can uh, actually go up a level so level finished now everything is going twice as fast and oh yeah this program does not have a timer it doesn't have any picture boxes it doesn't have anything of that sort all it has is 500 lines of code and I will not give it out because it's uh, really confusing because I just added things on without like understanding what they meant and it actually turned out working so yeah I'm pretty proud but this took me in total about six hours and yeah 
if you want the program, uh, just uh, message me and I'll try to give it out and see what's uh, if anyone offers uh, to help me on it, like in the for the images and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. If you have any game requests, like for what kind of game you want me to make, uh, I do take requests. So please tell me. I already made a um, Pac-Man game, a um, a brick game, and uh, an Invaders game. But I have not shown those because they're not fully completed yet. Yep. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.